Doodle Bud here. I'm going to show you a quick little hack when you're setting up a job in your Xtool F1. So I just turned on my framing to show the circle and I'm going in to align what I want to engrave. Now sometimes you can get it really close, but other times you need to just adjust it a little bit. Now one upgrade they did in XCS is you can drag the object around a little bit and change where it is. You can fine tune it and put in the coordinates just to move it bit by bit but it does take a little bit for it to update and it's a little bit of a pain sometimes. It's better than what it was before, but I'm gonna show you a cheap little trick that you can do to make it really simple. Now this is a very, very cheap version of it, but this goes on a microscope stage to hold a slide. I got this from AliExpress. This thing was mega crooked. This top slide was probably at a good uh, 10 degree angle to this one but is able to adjust it. And this just has, again, these are cheap and plastic. You can get very expensive ones, but this is good enough for what we do. I'll leave a link down below, but you can just move this along and do fine micro tuning X and Y of your object. So what I'm gonna quickly do is just make a quick uh, custom base plate for this to fit down into. And that way, if there's little jobs I need to do, I can uh, do the fine tuning just to get things aligned exactly where I want. It has these arms. These are meant for microscope slides. But again, if you have a 3D printer or you're a little bit crafty, you can make up some custom ones. And uh, you know, you could have just like an L bracket here and then have one that's maybe on a slide so you can go in, sort of clamp your objects and get it right where you want. On the back side, there is a screw hole. So this, the threading on here is not the same as the base plate but uh, then there's a couple pins that are in here as well. So all I'm gonna do, I got my Xtool S1 right down here. I got some wood. I'm gonna cut out a spare base plate, a few clearance hole for the pins, and then I'll just use a tiny little wood screw just to secure it down and pop it back in. I made a base plate and then I realized instead of just having these two dots, let's just make a proper one and just have an array of them. So what these are, these are all spaced 35 millimeters apart, this way and this way, and then just offset them. So then we got 17 and a half and 17 and a half that way. So that way you have a lot of freedom to move the, uh, the slide around. You just orient whichever way you want. You can flip it as well. Let's just say we wanna go this way. Here are the pins. I made them a, a 2.6 millimeter hole to account for a little bit of kerf. So it's a nice fit in there. You pop in the base plate, there's a little bit of wiggle. So what I do to lock that down is I just take this little L bracket that's supplied, I put it on and I just use it as a bit of a clamp up here in the corner. Oh, don't wanna cross thread, there we go. Screw that down and then nothing's gonna move on you. So now that little fixture plate is in there. Let's uh, show you an example. I turned on the framing, you just open this up clamp it down. Now again, this might not suit what you're doing. So you can uh, play around with this fixture and then you just adjust it and you got really nice granularity. Again, this is not a precision device by any means, but you can just dial it in exactly where you want to. And let's say that's where it's at. Great. And you go ahead, you do your engraving, pop it out, and then you just go to your next one and your next one and your next one. And there you go. Well, that's it. Quick, easy little project. If you're interested in something like that, I'll have a link down below. Again, I got this on AliExpress. This is not high quality whatsoever. I paid a whopping, I think it's like $17 Canadian for this. It did take a while to arrive. And if you want, I guess I could throw on the file in the description. Somehow I found a place to put it, but I'll put the file. If you want to make one of those, you can just go ahead and chuck it into your system and do it up. So this is super handy. Also keep an eye out. Uh, this is the F1. I should be receiving an F1 Ultra sometime soon. This would be a nice piece to go with it as well. You can make a plate that goes on there. There is a deal in case you haven't heard about it. If you put up a $100 deposit towards an F1 Ultra, you get a $1,000 credit for when they go ready. I'll have a link down below for all the details along with this little uh, slide attachment as well. Anyways, we'll leave it there. If you found this video handy, which I hope you have, hope it's helped someone out, hit a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and hit subscribe if you haven't. Until then, we'll catch you next time.